Okay, now we're going to take and put a door glass into the front door of a 35 Studebaker. We need to prep the door for the door glass, so we need to start replacing channels where they're worn. So in doing that, you want to take the old channels out. We've loosened them up just for uh, video sakes. And uh, take the top one out. Now you got, a, got yourself a good pattern in which we've already pre-cut a top one here to match it. So now we're going to use our original uh, pattern to make a new one, which we've already done. And then we'll move on to take the back, back cha channel out of it. And you'll need a screwdriver for that because usually it's mounted in with a screw. So you just find the screw, back it out, remove the channel from the opening. And as you can see, you've got a little bit of wear on here because of the age of the vehicle. Um, we will generally take and refabricate this as far as putting new um, uh, cloth on there. Next, we're going to inspect to make sure that we got clear channels down in the bottom. And you can do that by looking down in there with a flashlight or whatever and making sure that there's no broken pieces down in there or some fabric that has rolled up on you. If it's in decent shape, you can reuse it, of course. Uh, but most of the time, you end up replacing it. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to replace the what we call a cat whisker down here. It sits on the body of the car. That's this piece right here, and it's usually a universal type piece. So you got a chrome on one side, black on the other. For this particular car, we're going to use black because there's no external chrome on the outside of the window opening. So to do that, we're going to insert these. Originally, they were inserted with screws, but usually screws will back back out and break glass. So because of technology of, of today, we can use a small pop rivet, an eighth inch pop rivet, and do the same thing and secure it better.